On Saturday, November 10th, midday, these very same pontoons will be deserted by the thousands of spectators who will have transferred their ardor to the channel side, and obviously by the 20 participants of the Vendée Globe, some to show up on the starting line. Tanguy de la Motte will be among them. The initiative curl skipper outstrips the call in inflicting himself early morning swimming sessions in water no warmer than 15 degrees. It's nice, relaxing, it frees the mind, it's sporty. In such a long race as the Vendée Globe, it's important to be fit, to make the right decisions. On his carbon bike, Jérémy Bayou rides miles and miles. Incarnation of a new generation of sailors who don't neglect anything, their creed, well in my body, well in my mind. Boats require more and more physique. Rhythm is more sustained. So the bike is good. You clear your mind. It serves the purpose well. So when a living legend stops over in Les Sables d'Ologne and sees this, they tell themselves times have really changed. Sir Robin, winner of the first solitary around the world, comes from another planet. And in a way, I suppose we were pioneers, yes. Um, because we didn't know if it was possible. Someone has to go and find out. As a competitor to Sir Robin in various around-the-world races, Bernard Stamm wished to greet his old friend, a link between yesterday and today's sailing spirit. What's amazing about Sir Robin is that he's been around the world on the modern 60 feet, but also on a maxi catamaran. So I tip my hat to that. If he had to compare his boat with Bernard's, I say it's the same as I said before, difference between Blériot and Concorde. <laughs> Unquestionably, Sir Robin had the bill to participate to the Vendée Globe, but the opportunity never came along. A good reason to show some regrets. Oh, there's always regrets. It's... But on the whole, you know, when I'm 90, I look in the mirror in the morning, I want to say, actually, I did everything I did, wanted to. So, so far, it's pretty good. Except I haven't managed to get to the moon yet. <laughs>